this is Holly from Brook Falls Veterinary Hospital and Exotic Care, and joining me today is Dr. Case, where we're going to discuss everything you need to know about rabbits. So, Dr. Case, do rabbits and bunnies need veterinary care? Yes, uh, veterinary care is very important for all animals, um, but yeah, definitely, especially rabbits can hide their illnesses pretty well, so seeking veterinary care um, and annual wellness exams is really important. And how do I transport my rabbit to the vet? Yeah, so they uh, have a lot of kind of small animal carriers, similar to like cat carriers, uh, work really well for rabbits. And what do bunnies eat? Yeah, they eat quite a few different things. Um, the mainstay of their diet is going to be hay, so like a grass-based hay in unlimited quantities. Um, some fresh veggies are good, um, a small amount of bunny pellets is good, um, and then just staying away from like seed mixes and high sugary stuff like fruits and treats are good. What do bunnies need and what should I have at my house for my pet bunny? Yeah, so bunnies should have a large enclosure like an uh, exercise pen or a room um, and then inside of that maybe a little like hidey hutch that they can hide in if they wish. Um, litter boxes are great, um, have some hay and litter in there, obviously food and water bowls, uh, lots of toys and stimulation. Um, maybe some little cardboard castles, things like that, um, and then uh, the carrier. Are rabbits smart? Rabbits are <laughs> smart, so they can figure out um, lots of stuff, and they definitely need a lot of stimulation, um, so they're, they're going to get bored, you know, if they're just sitting there. So lots of interaction, lots of bonding, and things like that really helps with their mental stimulation. So keep them busy. Yes. <laughs> little, keep the little geniuses busy. Um, do rabbits and guinea pigs get along? So we don't recommend having rabbits and guinea pigs together. Um, they can spread some diseases back and forth. Um, and then they just have very different kind of social interactions. So we do recommend keeping them apart. Do bunnies bite? Bunnies can bite. <laughs> um, they obviously have lots of teeth in there. Um, sometimes it can be a cute little love nibble, but other times if they're unhappy, they will let you know with their teeth. <laughs> and do bunnies need vaccines? They do, yep. Yeah. So it's relatively recent to the United States, but rabbit hemorrhagic disease does have a vaccine that we are recommending for all rabbits. Um, and it's a two-parter series and then annual. Okay. And do rabbits need to be spayed or neutered? Yes, we do recommend that. Um, so especially with spaying, um, a lot of adult uh, rabbit females will get uterine cancer as they get older. So spaying them as early as possible. Um, and the neutering just helps to obviously prevent cancer there, but also kind of decrease any unwanted behaviors. Mm, gotcha. Yeah. So um, thank you very much, Dr. Case. You're welcome. And that's everything you need to know, um, kind of an overview about rabbits and bunnies. Thank you.